Next month will mark five years since the deadly stabbing spree in Taunton that ended at the Silver City Galleria. 26-year-old Arthur DeRosa first killed 80-year-old Patricia Slavin at a home on Myrick Street. He then took his rampage to the mall where 56-year-old George Heath lost his life while protecting a waitress at Bertucci's. New tonight, 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt spoke to Heath's wife about how she's choosing to honor her husband five years later. He joins us live in Taunton with the story of kindness cards. Rob? Shannon, Rosemary Heath was here at the Silver City Galleria on a date night with her husband George the night he was killed. She says she doesn't look back on May 10, 2016 with anger, only ahead with some kindness to spread. No one can imagine the pain of the headline, Husband Stabbed to Death, except for Rosemary Heath who lived it. She watched a man she didn't know take a knife from a restaurant server she just met. He took the knife from her and then used it against her. And then we stood up and stopped that, and then George fought with the man. Her husband, George Heath, died from a stab wound to his temple, and then an off duty officer fatally shot the man who stabbed George. I can't go back and change it. There's no reason to be angry about it. So, what else can we do? What can we do to keep his name alive? And kindness cards is it. Every year for four years, Heath spends the anniversary of her husband's death handing out these kindness cards with George's favorite superhero in the name of a local superhero below the emblem. He always was my hero. I mean, I, if I needed anything, he was there. The kindness cards are exactly what they say they are, a way to remember what's important to share with others, the way George's old students from New Bedford Vocational Technical School still share their memories with Heath. I've smiled more in the past two days because that one stu student reached out to me than I could have any, any other day. Heath says she holds no ill will towards the man who killed her husband. She instead chooses to hold on to the positive memories and spread kindness when she can. Hopefully it'll be just this little ripple effect that just brings kindness out in George's name. You know, I mean, it's just, the world's tough right now. And if we can spread more kindness, then I absolutely want to do it. Heath says she will send kindness cards to anyone who wants them and is willing to ship them for free. You can find the information on how to reach out to Heath to receive the cards in the web article of this story on WPRI.com. Reporting live in Taunton, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.